Lauren, and you're watching Field Days! So, I just wanted to guys kind of get updated and let you know that I won't be posting for the next couple of days. I will be packing, moving, getting a new house, getting Wi-Fi. So, the next couple of weeks are going to be free from this little face. You won't see it on your screen. And when I get there, I will be posting still when I can. And when I get Wi-Fi back, I will be posting. But this page is more for fun for me. And it's more to keep my family and friends updated. So if I don't post for a while, I do want a job. I do want to start a family. So I don't want it to be like a chore. And I will post and make videos when I have time. But don't get mad if it's not like every week. If I skip a little bit. I do have a life to live as well. So this video I just kind of wanted to make and keep you guys updated with that and just tell you some stuff that's going on with me. I finally got anxiety medication today after having to jump through hoops. There's a big stigma against having medication and having therapy and it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to need help. It's okay to have a mental illness. It's not horrible. When you go talk to a friend, talk to a co-worker, it shouldn't be taboo to say, hey, I'm going to go take anxiety medication. Hey, I have PTSD. Hey, this happened to me. Yeah, I understand, like, if you're openly talking about a PTSD incident and you're telling them what happened and stuff, it could be awkward, it could be hard, it could be uncomfortable. I get that. But don't shun people for admitting to you what they've been through. Also, don't shun people for saying they have anxiety. Don't tell them just stop worrying that it's going to be okay. It's not. That's not how it works. Let people know, hey, I'm sorry you're going through that or Help them come up with a way to cope. Help them come up with a solution. Because most of the time, anxiety is just, we're overwhelmed. We're worried about something. So help us with that. Help us overcome our worry. Tell us how to fix the problem at hand. And it's there. It's out there. Mental illness is coming. Your best friend, your co-worker, your crush, your neighbor. So many people can have a mental illness. And guess what? It's okay. It's not a big deal. You're allowed to. People are struggling. But they're afraid to talk about it. They're afraid to get medication because certain jobs, certain criteria, they're looked down upon. They're crazy because they have something they're afraid to seek therapy because if you seek a therapist or you go to like a mental hospital or mental ward then you're apparently nuts no you're just getting help with your everyday life learning ways to cope and deal with it having someone to talk to that's specialized in it so if you have anxiety, depression, PTSD, bipolar, schizophrenia, ADHD, don't be afraid. Stand your ground. Do what you need to help yourself. Push for the medication. Push for the therapy. Don't let anyone tell you that you shouldn't. Don't let anyone tell you to just cope with it and deal with it by yourself. I understand that there's hard days. I understand it can ruin relationships, ruin friendships. You don't want to reply to your friends for a couple days and they get worried or stressed out. You don't want to go anywhere when you have depression. You just want to lay in bed all day. You get anxious just doing simple stuff like going grocery shopping, going to the mall. Having to do laundry can just stress you out to no end. It's okay. Take time for yourself. Learn your methods. Learn what you can do to help yourself. Learn your ways to cope. 
self-care. Love yourself. Don't deny that you have a problem. Don't deny that you have this illness. Stand up for yourself. Sorry, that was a little PSA from Lauren. Make sure you're okay. Also, soon on this channel, we will have a video from my new place. I'm so excited. We're going to be moving. It's going to be great. It's been crazy and hectic. We're moving literally to another country. Yes, I lived in the other country before. I was born and raised there, but it's still a lot, a lot of the process. We need a new car. We need new phones. It's a lot, guys. So it's okay to be stressed out and have anxiety from it because trust me, I do majorly. <sighs> um, with moving, I kind of want to also reflect on Japan and my time here because I will miss it. You know, it was home. Sorry, I keep switching arms. We got our tripod all packed up and ready to go. So I'm just kind of, whoa, focus, 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 focus. There we go. Now I'm in focus again. And so it's just been hard because I only have my arms to tape. So with moving, being in Japan, I will never forget it. It was the first place me and my husband started living together. It was where we got our dog, who is adorable. He's going to be five soon. I'll make a video about him and where we got him and all that when it gets closer to his birthday, which is in April. It's where we experienced marriage life for the first time. We learned to live with each other. We learned more ways of communicating. We started our little family out here. We made plenty of friends that I will never forget. I learned what it is to be a military wife. We went to places, tried new foods. I tried sushi, which I cannot stand. It is disgusting. I got Coco's curry. I got real ramen out here. Real ramen's the best. Better than that little packaged stuff that you college students eat. <laughs> We got to go feed penguins, feed monkeys. We went to Tokyo Disney. I always thought that was going to be a pipe dream, that that was something that I would never be able to do. And we did. I got to go. It was so much fun. Getting to see that in a different culture, the rain. Even though afterwards I got really sick. But it was still a lot of fun. This place has been home, and I'm ready for a new adventure, but it is going to be hard. It's crazy, it's stressful, but I'm ready. For my, video, for my channel, you will see more videos. You will see, hopefully, a pregnancy announcement come June. We're planning on trying once we get home from visiting family in May. You will see my Disney videos. Because we're going to Disney in May, you will see random stuff that I just feel like sharing with you guys and keeping you guys updated on my life. I know this video isn't the longest, but it's just updating you and letting you know what's been going on and what will be going on in the months to come. And I love you guys. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit the bell icon. Get in focus again. Ah! Hit the bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. And always remember, never tickle a sleeping dragon.